This is the Serpens Nebula. Situated only 1,300 light years from Earth, this image of the Serpens main region covers a span of 16 trillion miles by 11 trillion miles. Its proximity to Earth makes it an ideal region for studying individual young stellar objects. Serpens is a famous stellar nursery. It has been imaged before, but this is the first time we've had an instrument that can give us this level of detail. A groundbreaking discovery has been made by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope in the Serpens Nebula. Astronomers observed aligned protostellar outflows within this region for the first time, providing unparalleled insights into star formation theories. These protostellar outflows occur when jets of gas expelled by newborn stars interact with the surrounding gas and dust. What sets this discovery apart is that the outflows are aligned in the same direction. The remarkable alignment of these outflows illustrates previously unseen details of how stars are born. As we continue to explore this new image, we find multiple captivating features that also warrant a closer look. We orient ourselves by looking for the Bat Shadow, a large shadow of a planet-forming disk recently imaged by Hubble. To the right of the Bat Shadow lies an eye-shaped feature, which appears as if a star is bursting through. Astronomers say looks may be deceiving here. Despite its resemblance to a void, it may simply be a result of layered gases with varying densities, akin to the phenomenon observed in the renowned Pillars of Creation. To the right of this is an extremely dark patch, which could be a similar occurrence of layered gases and dust. No near-infrared light is able to get through because this area is so dense in comparison to the rest of the region. This region is also home to some particularly eye-catching stars. SMM1 is a binary protostar. Two protostars that form together, orbit each other, and produce two separate but overlapping outflows. OO Serpentis is a young star still surrounded by a lot of gas and dust that hasn't started the main phase of its life yet. It erupted in 1995. It's rare for astronomers to capture this extreme type of violent outburst because it doesn't last very long. With this new image of the Serpens Nebula, Webb provides one of the most complete pictures of star formation astronomers have ever seen.